Now in this lesson we're looking at simple interest. We'll start with some examples. We're asked to find the simple interest on $300 at 6% per annum for two years. Now we'll write the interest equals. Now it's earning 6% per annum. Now 6% is 6 over 100. And we multiply by the amount that's invested. So we multiply by the 300. Now what we have so far is the interest for one year per annum. And since the term is two years, then we multiply by two. And if we calculate that, we get $36. Excellent. Example two. We're asked to find the simple interest on $4,000 at 11% per annum over five months. Again, we start with interest equals. Now, 11% is 11 over 100. We multiply by the 4,000. Now, so far, that's the interest for one year per annum. That's the interest for one year. The term, though, is five months. And if you think about five months, it's five twelfths of a year. It's not, it's not even half a year, is it? It's five twelfths of a year. So we're going to multiply that five twelfths at the end there. And calculating that, we get 183 and a third on the calculator. 183 and a third. But because we're dealing with dollars and cents, we're going to use that number. We're going to press the ABC button, the fraction button, and it will convert it to a decimal. Okay, and the decimal answer then, $183.33. Our third example, find the simple interest on $7,000 at 6 and 3 quarter percent per annum over three years. So the interest equals, now 6 and 3 quarters percent means 6 and 3 quarters over 100. We multiply by the 7,000, okay, that's the interest for one year. And because the term is three years, we're going to multiply by three. And when we calculate that, on the calculator, these are the steps. Six and three quarters over a hundred. We'd press in our six and three quarters. The over one hundred would actually press divide by a hundred. All right, so that's a little bit different there. That's why I took the extra step there to show you what to do there on the calculator. So six and three quarters divide by a hundred, and then we'd multiply by the seven thousand, then the three, and altogether we end up getting one thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty.